This is part two of our video series on the comma. If you haven't seen part one yet, follow the link in the description below. If you watched our video on run-on sentences, you may remember that you can fix a run-on sentence by joining the two independent clauses with both a comma and a coordinating conjunction. For example, in the sentence, the duck waded into the water, comma, and the fox prowled nearby, we would need to put a comma before the and that joins the first independent clause to the second. Let's say that again. If you have two independent clauses and a coordinating conjunction, you need a comma before the coordinating conjunction. In this case, and. It is not sufficient merely to put a coordinating conjunction. We need the comma too. But what happens if we have an independent clause and a dependent clause joined by a coordinating conjunction. Take this sentence for example. The doctor took her temperature and measured her height. There is no comma before the and because the second clause is dependent, not independent. It is dependent because the phrase measured her height uses the same subject as that of the independent clause. If we were to change the sentence around to say, the doctor took her temperature and she measured her height, we would need a comma before the and because adding a subject to our second clause makes it independent. Subscribe to Colbert Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.